Good morning, Shed Warriors. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. So, today, I figured I'd give you a bit of a garden tour on what's going on in the garden. Plus, I'll give you guys some tips as well uh, later in the video and some lessons I've learned uh, along the way so far uh, from how... <laughs> The lessons I've learned so far this year uh, with the plants I've grown so far and stuff like that. And yeah, so obviously I haven't labeled any of these because I figured you know, just let them grow and see how well they do. But these are all flowers for the most part. I do have some uh, bok choy and uh, lettuce. Uh, that might be a, uh, a bok choy. I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah. Either way, they're all coming up nice, nice, which is good. Um... But what I, uh, uh, what I've learned is, well, these strawberries don't seem to be popping up as quickly as I thought they have, or thought they would be, and I need to fertilize these blueberries a little bit, but from, you know, testing out if soil works better than uh, aquaponic uh, liquid, you know, water, uh, it does seem like the aquaponics are showing at least a little bit of progress when it comes to, you know, plain roots uh, being thrown into aquaponics. Just because, uh, you know, they're being soaked into, you know, a bunch of water, you know, all the time, so you don't really gotta water it, right? But you can see that little bit of growth right there, which is nice. And there's some more growth on there. I know it doesn't look the prettiest, but uh, there is growth there, so definitely gonna be getting some strawberries, which is nice. Um, and yeah, uh, we got some things popping up in the uh, potato garden. Little sprouts. I'm not sure if those are the potatoes um, starting to put on like green stems or whatever, but they're coming up, which is nice. In both ends. We got the uh, kale and the lettuce coming up very nicely. Obviously, they're tipped over because I've been putting on the fan a little bit and they just haven't uh, been strong enough to really hold their own. But they are getting uh, better and greener since this is the last time I've shown you guys. Um, the uh, the vit, the vit, the uh, lettuce seems to be really green, which is nice. Uh, only three, only two out of three of the romaine actually popped up, which is nice. You know, it means I'm going to be getting some romaine. Um, even though this one did pop up, it just never like sprouted leaves on top of the rock wool, so. Technically, it's a hundred percent germination rate, but um, it just never fully developed as much as these guys have. But the kale is doing pretty good. This is the uh, dinosaur kale that Will It Grow gave me, and then this is the red Russian kale, which is doing pretty good. And that's the hydroponic system that I have. Now back to the aquaponic system. The kale is doing great. I threw in some spinach and I removed the pea plant that was here. Uh, we got the tomato plant doing excellent. It's growing very well. This is a, um, a determined uh, potato plant, or not potato, tomato. <laughs> Um, I forget, uh, it's a Roma tomato, and it does seem like there's a little bit of damage on the leaves, so I'm gonna have to figure out what 
kind of damage that is but it, it's like uh, white spots on it and stuff like that so I'll have to check that out after um, so it does seem like there's some deficiencies happening in here um, it seems like it, they could use some more nitrogen because um, there's some yellow leaves but that could just be that they got some water on the leaves or whatever either way seems to be doing very good which is nice the fish seem to be doing pretty good and you know, might as well feed them while we're here so in this tank I have four goldfish and two snails to help with the algae and I kind of just you know feed them once a day so it, it may look like they are being overfed but it's really fine because you know it's not like I'm feeding twice a day I'm only feeding once a day so I just eat it all up And now, let's move over to the soil garden. Obviously, I moved the pea plant, which I've noticed that the, um, that by moving it over from the aquaponic system, that the powdery mildew is actually starting to go away, but I've also noticed that some of the plant, some of the leaves on the bottom have started to die, so, either there were some air roots on the pea plant and now that it's covered in soil it doesn't have that air to breathe so that could be why the plant is dying so uh, when you're transferring with um, plants from aquaponics to soil be sure that there's no air roots because if there are air roots your plant could die um, you know that's one thing that I've learned and yeah so if you're going to do it, make sure there's no air roots and that you're, you know, so transferring from hydroponics to soil is probably better, but transferring from aquaponics to soil is not as good, but you could probably still do it. Now this is the other Roma tomato that I transferred from the aquaponics system to the um, soil. It does seem to be doing good. It doesn't look like it's dying like the pea plant is so I feel like um, these roots didn't really have time to develop those air roots which is good uh, so maybe at early stages you can transfer your plants over if you feel like you want to but you don't have to um, but we got some yellow onions popping up and we got the bunching walking onions coming up as well uh, we got also got some carrots coming up as well which is really good and you know the other day I was looking at the carrots and I was like wow like I was looking at just one I was looking at like one carrot and I was like damn I wonder if I'm actually gonna be able to grow some decent amount of carrots this year I mean it's first you know since last year I didn't see any pop up or if I did I didn't realize it but now there's like, you know, 20 carrots that popped up. I don't know if you guys can see them, but like, they're there. They're popping up. Which is nice. And it's four different varieties that are popping up, so it's not even like, you know, just one of the same variety. It's all different types. Which is good. Uh, so for the red onions, I haven't seen any pop up in the row. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to pop up. It just means that for right now, they're still germinating or something. But yeah, we have one yellow onion right here. It's weird, I can see it. Oh, there it is. 
I'm over here trying to look at the camera and find it. But yeah. <laughs> Um, these are our garlic, garlic chives. I don't see any that have popped up, but this is the area where they should be, uh, which is nice. Uh, Will it grow? Also gave me those. And yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so another thing that I've learned is that. I was dealing with, you know, a leak right there, and I thought I covered it all up. Clearly, I didn't. And I, I was dealing with leaks in all four corners, um, and I had my blueberry uh, plant under here, which is why the soil is super moist, right? And you, you can tell that the plant doesn't really like super moist soil, so I've just been, you know, keeping a bucket under the water for like a few or, or under the leak for like a I don't know like a week now and I've just been letting the soil dry and you know letting this plant recover from the super moist soil that I was you know putting it in uh, but either way it's uh, it's doing pretty good it's coming back I also realized that this plant was starting to flower and uh, you know I just plucked all the uh, the flowers off of it so that way it could produce more leaves because obviously it is not ready to produce blueberries at all um, it is still very short so if you're going to grow blueberries make sure that you pluck them the, pluck the flowers so they don't produce early for you um, especially this early you know you definitely don't want flowers is that I can't tell is that more flowers popping up it might be but either way um, either way and as of for the celery I don't know if it's going to survive or not <laughs> you know, I kind of just threw it in the soil for compost, and it just resurrected on by itself. You guys can, you know, go check out that video. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's there, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna grow leaves or not, but it's there. <laughs> so, tip: don't overwater. And you should be fine. <laughs> um, but for that being said, uh, that's going to be it for this Shed Wars video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got something out of it. I know I've experienced a lot in um, you know this past you know 2021 so far. Um, like when it comes to my gardening area, <laughs> just be, you know I. Kind of, I'm kind of doing it all, so I'm getting a lot of experience from it. So I'm going to have a lot of knowledge to show you guys and stuff like that. Um, and if you guys, you know, want to learn how to make a system like this, all you need is some, you know, PVC and stuff like that, and you can m make whatever you desire. Really, um, this is just a design that worked for me, just because it. I, it worked with my space, and I didn't want to do like a uh, like one of those a. Um, it's like an a uh, system, but um, just because I didn't really have the space for it, and I feel like this would have been more logical, a more logical system since you know I already had one aquaponic system like over there and. This was supposed to be two aquaponics but systems, but I ended up switching it over and getting this to work. So, it all works out. It allows me to experiment with hydroponics, aquaponics, and soil gardening, as well as a different method of aquaponics rather than just a, a deep water cultured aquaponics system. But, uh, yeah. So... 
you guys want to watch more of these videos, there will be more videos every month or so. Maybe even every week, depending on when I feel like making a video. But other than that, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this first Shed Wars video of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed, got something out of it, and you know, let's grow some food together. Alright, bye for now.